Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic, and this is just a small update video. Basically, I'm just taking a bit of a break from the tutorials that I'm doing. I have recorded quite a number of videos, I'm just going through the editing process, so I am I am busy with it, so it's not going to stop, it's just going to keep rolling. I'm trying to upload at least one to two videos a day, and hopefully this weekend I can do a little bit more. But Basically, what I just wanted to do with this video is I wanted to give like a rundown by, of what I've done over the last couple of years. And actually, uh, one of the things that I wanted to show is I discovered this on my hard drive the other day. Uh, well, today actually. And it was just like a small iOS game I was working on a couple of years ago. It was supposed to be like a zombie top-down shooter and you were supposed to have like your different levels. This was like a, supposed to be a graveyard level and I was carving out the tombstones and creating the zombies and uh, then creating the main character. Now as you can see here this character is already fully rigged and this was even before Unreal Engine 4 was released. This was like in January of 2014. I was using UDK and I struggled tremendously with getting the animation to to work. Um, if any of you know Blender, you'll know that, that this is a Rigify um, armature. If you don't know what Rigify is, if you actually click on your file, you go to User Preferences and you type in Rigify. It was already there. You'll see that there's an option for rigging. And if you click that and you save it, essentially if you push Shift A, it gives you these two additional options. Instead of having a single bone, you have a human meta rig and the Pichipoi human meta rig. Now this one has bones for facial animation. This one just has like the standard bones as you can see over here. Now, I was kind of curious because I struggled so much with, I, I think, I can't even recall what Blender version it was back then. I think it was like 2.56 or something like that. And I just could not get the character to import into Unreal Engine 4 in any form when it was working properly. Now, as you can see, this character has some basic um, rigging attached to it. So all these bones are actually attached. So, then I wanted to experiment, because as you can see that this character is actually set up on X and Y and Z axis properly. Everything seems to be set up properly. So, I did the following. I just went into object mode, as this was, and I selected both of these. I clicked export as FBX. Uh, click the armature and mesh. I left those settings as is. Geometries, I just set to edge and armature. I disabled the leaf bone option. Now you can see that um, I've already done this before. So let's just call this test. Uh, and I'll override this test one over here. No, no, that, that was a while ago. Let's, let's put this on my desktop and I'll call it test. There's the one that I exported. Okay. And then I jumped over to Unreal Engine 4, and as you can see, I already have the model open there, but to show you what, what happened when I just exported, like, the original file, and here is the import, and I click import, then it gave me an error, and it's probably going to give it again, the bone sizes is too small to create a physics asset. Essentially, this is what I brought up a couple of times in my previous videos regarding Unreal's scaling. Um, even if you import this character, he will seem like an appropriate size, but the bone scaling will be way off. Now, in order to fix this, I had to go back to like the original Unreal uh, videos where they set up the scene. And I had to go into my scene properties here. And then I had to set the length to metric and then the, leave the angle at degrees and then it was 0 0.010. And now you'll notice that the character is super small. Actually, if we click on him now, we can get his dimensions. He is nine, uh, well, yeah, nine millimeters wide. Okay, well, uh, he's, he's very tiny. So essentially what you want to do then from here is then select both the armature and the character and hit S and 100. So scale him by 100. 
and then you'll see that okay the dimensions and everything is correct and then you want to select your armature and you'll see that your armature scale and everything is off and hit control a and then i just apply all of these rotation location and scale so that all of these will be set to one the scale set to one and then do the same with the character location and uh, sorry rotation and scale and then location all right so let's quickly try and export this again and we'll use the same settings uh, I don't think I did selected previously but let's just make sure that selected objects only uh, geometry is on edge detect armature disable the leaf bone we're gonna overwrite that test and then I'm going to jump over to Unreal and click import and just quickly have a look at it and now it should not give me that error and as you can see and if we actually open the character here we go you'll see that he is actually appropriate size he's not too small or anything like that the only thing that kind of bugged out here is that it's using the wrong um, materials on different spots it's just anything and now also if i rotate this it will rotate properly if you actually imported it in the previous way it would import all the bones and everything um, but the way that the scaling worked is then essentially you would have to if you want to do 90 degrees you would have to turn it around multiply that by 100 to actually get to just plain 90 degrees okay so that was that problem fix now i still struggled back then udk animation and everything like that and so i went over to the unreal forums uh, not unreal forums but the unreal documents and i looked up the animation retargeting to actually just see because this is the the human meta rig from blender itself so from the rigify um, add-on but uh, it's it's pre-installed in blender you just have to activate it and what i then discovered is i went in and i followed these steps all except the advanced steps over here i didn't do like the hands or anything like that and i uh if we could just quickly open it over here I basically retargeted the entire character uh, let's just click on the skeleton using these options over here now if I'm just going to close off that one if we can just get maybe the unreal character up here you'll see that if you go into his skeleton it's all these options over here now if you show advanced you'll see that all the fingers and everything appears there but this is like the basis and okay let's go to that one and essentially all the bones and everything was there and previously if i tried this in unreal engine 4 everything will be rotated in like random directions or anything and i set this all up the only real thing is that the root bone is called the meta rig over here and if just having different names naming conventions you just kind of have to like go through the 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 bones and then just check what they are called on this character and then go over to this one see what they are called on this one and then assign them to the specific um, bones on that rig now um, for you to actually see all the bones you would have to click on show and then just show all hierarchy otherwise selected only would only go for one that you're selecting and you might not actually get the one that you're selecting Anyway, this is not really much of a tutorial, but it was very interesting to see that I actually managed to rig the character according to the Unreal rig without any hassle where there was like major problems before. And for me to quickly just show you, I'm just going to go over to, I think it's under animations, the third person animation blueprint, which is the standard animation, which is essentially this character here. I opened, oh wait, I right click on him and then I retarget and then duplicate animation blueprint. And then my skeleton appeared over here, the one that I retargeted. And you see there's my character. I just click 
retarget and you'll see at the bottom it created the different types of animations but they're not quite perfect yet let's just have a look at them okay so this is going to be okay let's go for something like the idol and now we can have give get like a proper idea you can see he's like all hunched over um the hands look kind of warped and the legs are definitely not right now Essentially what this is, is that what you need to do is here at the bottom, show retargeting options. And then everything that you basically assigned, uh, let's quickly look for something along the feet or so. Uh, you need to assign to the skeleton, I think. Let's see here, skeleton. Okay, the toe, I don't think I did. But the foot was done, the shin, there we go. And you can just like slowly see that the character, essentially you need to set all of this to the skeleton. Now for you that, um, if you've bought a character on the, I, I think I actually did mention something like this on, on the forums once, uh, someone bought a character and a later version of um, and Unreal didn't actually, it, it imported the character kind of like what this one uh, looks like, all warped. And you essentially had to go through all of these retargeting options and just set everything to skeleton. Okay, so let's just see where is, I'm trying to find, because these are all like strange values, I'm just trying to find the arm. Okay, well, I think essentially what you can do now is, all right, I'm just going to go through all of these one by one. Uh, pretty much every single one that I recall, we didn't do the palm or the fingers or the thumbs. So let's go back here, skeleton, skeleton, the hand, but we didn't do the palms. I think actually that's it. Okay, so let's just click save and we quickly try this with a different animation. There you go, there's the jump idle animation, here's the jump start animation. And well, what we can do is we can drag all of them into the world. And just kind of see what they look like. And let's do the simulate option. It's a really creepy character, and as you can see, actually, um, my my whole setup, my um, actually my rigging wasn't done very well here at all. I, you can you can see if I like rotate the neck that everything will like come with. Let's just try here the arm. There you go. You can see like everything comes with, but. Uh, this was like my first real character that I've ever rigged uh, for a game itself. And I kind of got put off by the difficulty with getting stuff from Blender to Unreal. But most of that seems to have been fixed. And what I can do now is I can just um, go into the third person character. Uh, let's just, where are you? Right click, find a content browser. There we go. And I can go to the viewport, click on the character, and here on the right you'll see that there's the mannequin option. And I can go to, let's just make sure where, I think I saved it over here. There we go. I can use my model. But now you see that it's not using animation. And the main reason for that is, is that these blueprint animations essentially share the same name as the ones that I duplicated. So I'm just going to actually delete all of those. Uh, you see it's going to close off everything. So let's just open this again. Okay, let's leave it minimized. Going to select the character. And then I think where we created the animations, wherever, there we go. The third person animation blueprint. Uh, no, this one here. There we go. 
going to click compile and I am going to click play in selected viewport and there's my character with the unreal character animation retargeted to it so something essentially that took me two years ago that actually drove me to the point of just stopping has been simplified to such an extent that it is actually very easy to get a character into Unreal Engine 4. Alright, so essentially this is a very old character. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share a link in the description below to the original blend file of the character. So that you guys can, when you're following this video, you can actually just go through or you can look at the entire process. Please note that if you do open this in Blender, this character in Blender, it does not open properly because Rigify is not enabled by default. So I will share this character. You can do with it whatever you want. Um, it's not a perfect character, but if you want to put it in your game, you're more than welcome to. Just uh, let me know beforehand. If you want to fool around with it a little bit more, just so that you can actually test out animation rigging and things like that before you jump over to Unreal or before you bring your own character into Unreal, you can do that as well. So, I will put a link in the description below. And if you like what you saw, leave a like. If you didn't, you can leave a dislike. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. I thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.